Hey, what's going on? Benji Kaiser here with jobsinthefuture.com. Today, talking about data science gear. Specifically, what is the best desktop computer for you to get started in the data science industry? Coming at you. So there's a lot of talk about the data science industry right now, and with good reason. Uh, as we've noted before on this channel, IBM has rated this one of the biggest growing industries for careers in the next five to 10 years. They see an increase of 28%, and that's more than 2 million jobs coming available worldwide. So the question is, what computer do you need to get started in that industry? If you've yet to subscribe to this channel, I highly recommend doing so. I put out videos about data analytics, the gear you need, and just simplifying all the terms and different nuances within the data industry. If you're curious about the best laptop for data analytics, you can check that out in the cards above or the description below. And if you're wondering what a data analyst does, what a data scientist does, and just all the jargon, you can check out those videos in the description below too, as well as attached in the YouTube cards. For now, let's jump into those computers. And as we're jumping into my top four recommendations, you can get the links below for the products that you see here on this video. Those are affiliate links and they do help out with this channel and I greatly appreciate you using those links to grab this gear. First, I'm gonna talk about the components of the computer and what you need to look for when you're searching for a computer with data analytics. I wanna talk about the RAM first and foremost. You wanna have at least 16 gigs of RAM within your computer. You'll be running multiple programs at a time when processing and going through your data, whether scrubbing, analyzing, or converting into a presentation. Having lots of RAM will allow you to run those multiple applications very smoothly. Like I said, 16 gigs of RAM is a good start. 32 is what I would say would be the best pick for you. Next, we're looking at speed within the processor. I definitely recommend an i7 processor. It's the latest technology and it's gonna give you the most bang for your buck. This is gonna speed up your process because when running multiple applications, just like the RAM, the i7 processor will help you speed up any processing speed and you won't get the spinning rainbow of death on a Mac or the spinning loading bar on a Windows. So we're gonna keep speed up with that i7 processor. I've seen people use the i5, perfectly fine, but I always think it's best to get the latest technology, that way you don't fall behind. When picking a hard drive, I recommend a solid state hard drive. This is gonna help, again, with processing speed. There's not any moving parts in a solid state, so that helps load times increase dramatically. You're gonna to wanna to get at least a 512 gig hard drive. The reason being is data sets can be extremely large. I mean, if you wanna get up to a terabyte, that would be even better, but don't go any less than a 500 and 12 gig hard drive. I recommend that one from Samsung. And if you're looking to upgrade your computer rather than get an entirely new one, you can check out my recommendation in the description below. Lastly, let's talk about the graphics processor. This is only a big concern if you're a data scientist doing a lot of machine learning algorithms because you're gonna need more speeds and it's gonna wanna boost those graphics. So this isn't a huge concern if you're just doing data analysts or big data scrubbing because it's just not as necessary. But if you're gonna end up looking towards the data science industry, you better look into getting a good graphics processor. I recommend the GTX 1050 or higher. Some of the computers that I'm recommending to come will have that GTX 1050 or higher. All right, so now that we have the specifics out of the way, let's look at the top four recommendations for data science desktop computers. Number one is the Dell XPS 8930 Tower. This is a workhorse of a computer. It has 32 gigs of RAM, has a solid state 512 hard drive, and it's got the GTX 1060 graphics card, as well as the i7 processor, specifically the 8700 model. So this computer is really fast and a great deal for the punch that it packs. Maybe you don't wanna deal with a tower and a computer screen. Maybe you want it all in one. I recommend the Dell XPS 27 all-in-one computer. This isn't as powerful as the tower alone, but it is very powerful. This all-in-one actually comes with a different graphics card and processor. It's the Radeon 570, comparable to the GTX 1060, but just a little bit different. Like I said, this computer isn't as powerful as the tower. It does come with an i7 processor, but it's the 7700 version rather than the 8700. Still comes with 32 gigs of RAM and a 512 solid state hard drive. So still a fantastic setup for data science. Oh, and this one also has a 4K screen, which is just kind of cool. Like, do you need a 4K screen to process data? Not really, but it's cool. 
All right, now for the mid-level. This is probably the most affordable option in the lineup. This is the Alienware Aurora R7. This one is a little less powerful, but is a great deal for somebody getting ready to jump into the data science industry. The Aurora is a really good setup. It's the more affordable version. It does lack the RAM, but it tops the charts in the other areas. For instance, it has the i7 8700 processor. It has 256 gigs of solid state RAM plus two terabytes of SATA standard hard drive. So it's got both. So basically what's going to happen is it's going to run your applications and your boot up on the solid state to help with speed, but then you're going to store all your files on the standard hard drive, which has, you know, the spinning parts. So you're going to get the speed out of the solid state, but you're going to have the two terabytes to process all of your data. So it's a really good mix for somebody looking to get into data analytics. Now, the graphics card is the GTX 1070, which is the top of the line graphics card kind of for this range, uh, which is a really good start for getting into the data analyst. And of course, no computer lineup will be complete without an Apple Mac product. Mac is bringing out the iMac 5K display. It is a 27 inch all in one computer. Now they're a little lower on the stats comparatively, but if you're a Mac user, this is definitely gonna be your computer. This computer comes with a Radeon 575 graphics processor and card. It has 512 gigs of hard drive, 16 gigs of RAM, but it only has the i5 processor. So you're gonna lose a little bit of speed there, but otherwise this computer is well suited for the data science needs that you have. So there's a lineup for the top four desktop computers for the data science industry. If you have any more questions, please comment below. If this video has helped you, please hit the like button and check out those links below for all these computers. Those will help you get to the proper place to purchase these computers and those are affiliate links and they help out this channel, which I am very appreciative of. Thanks again for tuning in. I hope this has helped you and I will see you on the next episode. This is Benji Kaiser with jobsinthefuture.com.